anyone that knows me knows that I love my mom and it's not but it's and she drives me crazy so um, I'm not gonna do the she drives me crazy part I'm just gonna do the why I love her uh, she is um, my forever supporter I mean she thinks I am amazing she will tell me um, the truth uh, about <laughs> about things that I don't always like um, the other day we were somewhere and you know I was driving I was meeting a friend of hers and um, she was she was so excited for me to meet them but then later we were talking and she goes well you know you could have put a little makeup on or he didn't look your best and I was like, Mom, I just drove for four hours, but uh, she will tell you exactly what she thinks. And um, and so as much as sometimes it hurts my feelings, I know that, that she'll tell me, she'll tell me the truth. Um, so I love my mother's honesty. She has uh, been a loyal, loyal uh, wife and mother um, I look up to her for that. She didn't have um, the greatest marriage, the greatest upbringing, but she never uh, really stepped outside. She never stepped outside of her marriage as far as um, her fidelity. And I love the role model that she was in that respect. Um, she always said she never would want to, um, she never would want to look herself in the mirror and feel disappointed or she never would want to be able to look at her children and know that she lied so um, I really love that about her uh, I love that she laughs at herself I mean oh my gosh my mother is silly and um, my girls and I, we tease her and she's able to laugh. She laughs about it. And I sometimes wish I was more like that. I get a little uptight or I get a little rigid and defensive and I wish um, more often I could just laugh with her. Um, I'm gonna try to do that more, like look at things and, and laugh about it. Um, I love that she's a homemaker. You, she's like the domestic queen. Um, the beds are always comfortable. Uh, she's super welcoming. My mother growing up, if you came, if anyone came over to the house, she'd always like be able to pull something out of the refrigerator, whip it up, and there would be like a, a, an amazing meal. I don't have that gift. Um, I don't have the ability to kind of like host like she does. She's an amazing host. She puts her, everyone before her. Um, sometimes I wish she'd put herself on the, on the list way more, but she is selfless. Um, she is a giver. Anyone that knows her, uh, my friends growing up always wanted her to be their mom. Um, I used to get a little jealous of my friends would come over and it was like, let's just talk to your mom. <laughs> like no let's my mom drives me crazy let's go let's go to the beach but they just wanted um, to be connected to my mom um, I love my mother's strength she's got the most unbelievable inner strength and um, she just keeps going I mean things knock her down and she sometimes has a bad day or she'll have a bad week but um, like right now, she's in a car driving up here with uh, a friend of hers. I mean, the woman's 74 years old and she packed up a U-Haul, packed up a car and was able to still get in a car and drive up here. She's always been um, someone that just will just do it. She doesn't, she's always like, well, what, what's our other choice? We just gotta do it. I remember going through my divorce and I remember calling her crying and I remember saying, how do other people do it, mom? How do they get through it? Um, and she's like, well, they, they have one night stands or they do drugs or they, 
become addicts or they they ignore or they get married again or there was a million reasons why um, she gave me that people get through and don't deal with the thing that's in front of them and uh, and then on the other line she's like but you don't have that choice you just got to deal with it cry and get over it and um, and you will and you know I would call her at any time of day and she would answer so I know there's gonna come a day maybe when I'm not able to call her I think about that a lot you know even though she irritates me but there's gonna be come a day where I'm not I'm gonna pick up the phone and I'm not gonna be able to call her and um, that's a hard one I know some of you have gone through that but um, you know her voice is, is there with me always and I think about things and recipes and and all the the pies that I'm making that's all my mom and um, anyway she's a good woman and I'm really lucky to have her still and I'm really lucky to um, be able to spend this time with her that's coming up and she will drive me nuts I know it and probably immediately will at, be at each other and um, but I love her and uh, anyway I'm just praying that she gets here safely and that she's not too exhausted and she will talk about her cats the whole entire time and um, I bought her a t-shirt that says um, warning I spontaneously begin talking about my cat <laughs> so um, anyway you'll get to meet her I'm sure a lot of you already know her but um, she's a pretty pretty incredible role model for me so anyway that's it I'm gonna make some uh, biscuits for uh, strawberry shortcake she loves the shortcake I'm gonna make that today and um, we'll see you in the morning